The latest Peace Prize winner is the President of the United States. He got it two weeks into his first term. Chris, were you one of those if you were sitting in Sweden on one of your many vacations that would have gasped, or would you have stood and applauded and said it's about time? Uh, well, yeah, it's about time, because Lord knows this has been overdue for Barack Obama. <laughs> no, and I don't mean to, to knock the president. You know, if, Not at he, all. He may accomplish great things at his, his presidency, but I think he'd be the first to say he hasn't done it so far. Lech Wałęsa, the you know the solidarity leader of Poland, who is a Nobel laureate, and he said, uh, you know, it's too soon. He hasn't accomplished anything. Maybe great promise, and maybe he will, but he hasn't so far. Well, and now, Chris, let me ask you one question because I know you don't like to talk about Fox and Friends when you're doing this show. But how much of a bust was that? Was the crash into the moon? I thought NASA put a great $79 million uh, deal together. I mean, to have the foresight to think through how it would benefit us to send a missile into the moon, a defenseless planet that was just sitting there, <laughs> I, I do believe but showed... It's television. How good a moment was it? Listen, Chris, what am I supposed to do? All I know is that we haven't had a promo on this network in about six months. Last night, I'm watching primetime like the rest of America, and I see Fox and Friends tomorrow. NASA sends a missile into the moon. Is there water? And I'm thinking, is this a bigger deal than it's supposed to be? Why are we making such a big deal of it? That's my great TV instincts. So sure enough, I thought when I saw the animation, which made it seem sensational, like it was going into a huge ocean, I thought this could be pretty cool. Next thing I know, I find out that we really don't have a good shot of the moon and that we can't really see what's happening. And, and then, the, so you see this shot of, you know, craters on the moon, and then it all goes to white, to hash, and you guys are all sitting there like, oh, has it happened yet? <laughs> oh, that was my quote. Was very funny television. Chris Wallace, that was my quote. I said, what happened? Yes, exactly. Thank you. You know, it goes right up there with one small step for man, <laughs> and yes, we can, and Brian Kilmeade saying, what happened? You're lucky my self-esteem's high, uh, or else I'd really be crushed right now. But Chris, and, and, then, and then I love the picture of the guys in NASA with their pocket <laughs> protectors, and they all shake hands, and they start applauding, and they put on their jackets, and they leave, like, you know, well, we've, we've just landed something on the moon. Well, I think it's funny, because NASA has usually has these great shots of Houston with these huge, you know, bands of people, and, and they're all standing up with the overhead shot. We have a small office, and one guy looks like he cleans the erasers in the background, <laughs> <laughs> and he's just sitting there, and I can see someone in the background says, clap, and then while they're on camera, they leave the shot. Uh, Oh, it was it was very funny. Right. Anytime I could, uh, uh, anytime a news show could be humorous to Chris Wallace as he gets makeup in the morning, I think that's fine. Makeup. Uh, uh, you're right. Uh, Chris Wallace does not use makeup. Uh, Chris, I'm I, naturally tawny. Thank you, <laughs> and non shiny, unlike me. Above name calling and personal attacks. Well, except with each other. Brian and the Judge.